guys and welcome. Today we are going to have a look at how to deal with an aggressive snake or a defensive snake. One question I get very often is that my snake, she curls up, my snake, she's striking at me. What can I do? She's very angry, she's very uh, aggressive, she's very defensive. Help me, help me, help me. And I can totally understand the frustration when you bring home a new snake and the only thing it wants to do is to strike at you. And the only thing that you want to do is just to take it out and enjoy some time with it. Of course, there are several reasons as to why a snake can be aggressive or defensive. The first reason is most likely because it's a hatchling. Uh, when you get home your new snake, corn snake, ball python, carpet python, boa, whatever, hatchlings in general, they do tend to be a bit more defensive because from nature's side, they are taught that when they are born, they need to be a bit more aggressive in order to survive. So this is totally normal behavior. If you get home with your little hatchling and it's acting all mean, <laughs> don't worry because that's just how they are. And very very slowly they will get better and better. Usually it will go away with age. So if you have a hatchling that is aggressive, just wait out, just feed it, leave it alone, make sure that it has everything it needs and then in time it will get better and better and better. Another reason for a strike is that the snake is feeling threatened by you and that can happen with uh, hatchlings, smaller snakes as, as well with adults and big ones. Pretty much any snake they react in the same way. So if the snake is feeling threatened by you and you do not back off, that will also result in a bite. Most snakes will give you warnings before like they will curl up in this s position they will maybe hiss at you and they will try to get away from you but if you ignore all of those signs and then you keep on pushing then the strike will happen another reason of course could be that the snake is feeling ill that maybe it's uh, very hungry hasn't been fed for a long time it has some kind of disease or it has had a bad shed you know all of these things can contribute to the snake feeling uh, annoyed uh, not annoyed more feeling uncomfortable because when a snake is comfortable it it is very docile actually. It's only when you start to make it uncomfortable either by poking it or if a disease is coming on or if it's hungry or something like that that it will respond by uh, either uh, going away, standing in a threatening position or bite you. So there are several reasons, that's just my point of it. That's just what I wanted to get out there before I start the video. With this video, I want to talk about three things. I want to talk about how to identify that a bite is coming, like how can you spot a bite? Number two is that I want to teach you how to get a snake out, even though that it wants to bite. And number three is that I want to teach you how to uh, be around the snake and how to, what can you say, teach that not to strike you, teach it how to be comfortable with you. So these are the three things. How to identify, how to take it out even though it wants to bite, and how to teach it not to bite. Let's get right to it. All right, as my little helper today, I've chosen Jody. Jody is my carpet python. She's still only a couple of months old. And in general, Jody is... Um, a little bit defensive, like she is very prone to striking. And I don't know if you can see her, let's see, there. Okay, I'm just gonna turn up the light a little bit for you guys. Is that better? There, all right, so this is Jody. Also, Jody is uh, about to shed right now, which means that she will be very, very busy, which is uh, just awesome. As you can see, Jody is laying right now. She does look quite kind of comfortable. I know her, so I know that in a second, she's going to go into some sort of strike position. Jody is not the type of snake that will move away first. In general, she will just go into this uh, strike position. Most snakes will try to get away first by just having this. Can you see how she's tensing up? Like her, her, her body is becoming tense. And also the tongue is flickering in very short flickers. Normally I say that it's good with the, when the tongue is out and it's flickering. That means uh, that it's out and it's long flickering and it's constantly like in a rhythm. Now this is not in a rhythm. Uh, can you see she's tensing? See? They are very, very tense. Look at that. She's actively trying to push me away with her body. There. Oh, it's getting very annoying. Let's see if we can... All right. There it is. There. Can you see the strike position? She is... There she was, I told you. <laughs> she is ready to strike. Uh, can you see that she has her head and her neck in this strike position and she's positioning the rest of her body being ready to strike. Let me see if I can get her to strike again. Let's see. There. Did you see him? Sorry, I get a shock every time they do it. So this is what I would call a very defensive, maybe aggressive snake. Like she is in no mood for anything and she does not want me to pet her. She does not want me to hold her. She just wants to be left alone. 
Now you can see, totally see her still very, very struck and she's actively coming towards me a little bit and she's really, really saying back off, back off, back off. If you see a snake like this, just leave it alone. All right, so now Jody is actively, very actively telling me to let her, to leave her alone. She really doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So the first thing on my list was to teach you guys how to spot a strike coming. That's what we just did. Now I'm going to teach you how to get a snake out uh, that is uh, ready to bite. Let's say that I had to move a sweet Jody, like we had to take her somewhere. I had to take her out to clean a terrarium. What do you do when a snake looks like this? Because this is not a snake that you want to put your fingers into. So. <laughs> God damn it, Jody! What can I do? Like, how do I go around getting her out if I need to move her, I need to clean the terrarium, anything like that? Because I don't have the time to wait for her to come down because I need to move her. So, the best thing that you can do, I think, is to take a piece of cloth. If you don't want to get a bite, of course, you can just put your hands in and let the snake bite you, but I don't recommend that. Take a piece of cloth and then put it on the head of the snake. Look, she's even biting without any reason. Could you go back a bit, darling, because I can't get to you when you're like that. There. Very, very angry snake. All right, a piece of cloth. I'm just gonna find it, hang on. <clears throat> this is the way that I deal if the snake is aggressive in any way and I need to get it out. This is typically how I would like, how I would do it. I'm just gonna take out this cloth. Come on, sweet girl. There we are. All right. Did you see that? I took the uh, the cloth and then I moved her. Good. And you see now she's getting, she's still tense. She's still very tense. I'm going to see if I can get her on my hands. All right. So as you can see, now I have Jody out in my hands. And you may have to take a bite. Like, I don't know. But with someone that's not venomous, of course, I don't recommend doing this with venomous snakes. But with Jody here, it's not that... Hang on, girl. It may take time, and also Jody, she's in a shed, so she's extra, extra uh, pissy, but that's okay. But basically what I am doing is I'm giving her time. Giving her time to getting used to being on my hands, and I do not ask anything of her. I don't touch her anywhere else. I'm basically just having my hands very, very calm, getting her used to it. That's the way you need to go. I haven't been working that much with Jody because I haven't been needing to do it. Uh, I haven't felt the need because she's just doing fine. Now, I don't know if you can see the blood she has on her face. That's not from her, that's from me. You don't worry about that. I'll show you the bite after. But this is pretty much the way that you work with them. And right now, she can see she is very, very tense. But one day at a time like this, she is coming down. Oh, I said that too early. All right. You get the idea. Hopefully, your snake isn't this aggressive. But time, time from time. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens, good. But something will happen now. There. All right, let's get her in. She's still angry, look at that. Looks worse than it is. Okay, that's a burn I got when I struck my hand into the savannah one as I burned myself uh, on the bolt. But yeah, this was the bite that Jody gave me. Looks worse than it is. Like I've said before, I would rather take a bite from a cat. No, the other way around. I would rather take a bite from a snake, non-venomous of course, than I would from a cat because I think that the snake bite hurts less. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to deal with an aggressive snake or defensive. If you have any comments or questions, just put them right down in the comments section. I would absolutely love to hear from you. If you did like the video, please leave a like. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for now and bye bye!